Catholic life in and around Baltimore might never look the same. What's changing? Well, we're hearing from the Archdiocese tonight about a plan to close 40 churches in the city and county. This week, we've heard from worried parishioners, but tonight, WMAR 2 News' Jack Watson spoke directly with Archdiocese leadership. Jack, what they have to say? Well, Kelly, Bishop Bruce Lewandowski was straightforward in his evaluation of Catholic life in Baltimore. It's not what it used to be, and they're acting with future generations in mind. This is painful that we've come to this point in, in time in, in our church's uh, life in the city of Baltimore. Bishop Bruce Lewandowski is a leader in the Archdiocese of Baltimore. We met on Wednesday evening to talk about what many Catholics are, the sobering reality facing their faith. Without, like, without the, the Seek the City process, our, our churches are really small, and I'm not sure if anybody really captures that. We have churches of 30 and 40 parishioners. And when I'm saying dozens, I'm saying like 30 and 40 parishioners that are in a church that had a thousand people. It seated a thousand people. Attendance, especially among younger worshipers, has plummeted. With that reality and deferred maintenance costs, the Archdiocese looked to the future. As part of the Seek the City to Come plan, they visited every parish and listened to thousands. Now is the culmination of that work. A map, seen here, shows the potential consolidation of parishes from 61 to 21. It's time to stop to retool, reorganize, concentrate our efforts, and launch out again, getting smaller to get bigger so that we can rebuild our church in the city of Baltimore. Swept up in, in our decades, if not centuries, of Baltimore's history, and churches both locals and commuters have gone to for about as much time. As for the buildings themselves, Lewandowski says some may be repurposed and others sold outright. Funds would be reinvested into the new parish community, not as assets in the Chapter 11 bankruptcy reorganization in light of sexual assault lawsuits. We've been trying to keep the church open, the lights on, the water on, the electric bills paid for all this time. Let, let's pull back from that. And let's imagine if we could take all of those resources and invest them in people, youth ministry, uh, young adult ministry, catechetical programs, Bible studies. Lewandowski says they're taking into account what folks say will happen if a church closes. Two public comment sessions are planned starting next Thursday at Archbishop Curley High School. We really are trying to work at this together. We've got, I, and I'm not exaggerating, some very good advice some really good constructive criticism, and we invite that. And I'm hoping that that's what will happen at our open public sessions. Lewandowski tells me these changes are like pruning a tree, pulling back so they can sprout new growth. Also important to note, what you saw a few moments ago is not the final plan. A finished one is expected in a few months in the middle of June, Kelly.